Hello and welcome to your weekly angel card reading from Monday the 9th of September right through to Sunday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels and I'm going to bring in the beautiful messages from your angel step today to bring in a message. So I'm going to start by pulling a card for the week itself like a general overview and then we're going to connect with the energies for Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So what do you need to know? So this is the energy around the week here. What's the energy around Monday and Tuesday? Straight out. What's the energy around Wednesday and Thursday? I feel it's going to be a very quick week. Like fast paced. Goes by quickly. It's like, whoa, it's the weekend already. Where did that go? So it's going to be a fast week. So the energy around this fast week is victory. I'm not surprised it's going to be a fast week when we've got this powerful, fast energy around this unicorn here. You know, this unicorn is standing on its legs saying, there's going to be a victory here. It's going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. So this is reassurance from heaven that it's going to be okay. And he says, your desire, whatever that may be, is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. So whatever you've been doing, this is your sign to keep up the good work, to keep doing it, because that's going to bring your dream or your desire into your reality. So it will bring victory. So if you're thinking, well, I've been allowing them to come to me, that's what you need to keep doing because that's going to bring in a victory, even if it's hard, even if you're stressing out, even if you're thinking, oh, I'm going to reach out now because I'm panicking. Don't. Don't. Why? Because your dream is happening and coming in, but you have to keep up the good work. This is about you keep doing what you do. Maybe you're thinking about your career. And you're thinking, oh, I haven't seen the results yet, but you're doing the right work. This is like the angel saying, you're doing the right thing. You're on the right path. You're exactly where you're meant to be. So everything is happening the way it's meant to. And victory is coming in. You may even get some victory this week. Or you may get good news or something good is going to happen. So let's see what the cards say for the week itself. So Monday and Tuesday, we've got Maya. And Maya is saying schooling, studying, education helps your life purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So today and tomorrow, you're going to be learning things about your life, about yourself, about your situation, and they are going to help you to bring victory in. So there could be an understanding that comes to you out of nowhere, like you receive an epiphany or an awakening or an aha moment. You go through some kind of understanding of what's going on. You may be researching something. They show me squirrels running around. And squirrels are about gatherers, gathering the information. So squirrels gather, they gather the nuts, and you're gathering the information, the knowledge. So if you're seeing squirrels, and they show me squirrels running around a tree. So I'm not just connecting with one, I'm connecting with a few, which is like collective energy. So it feels like you are learning right now and gathering what you need to bring victory into your life. So schooling, studying, education. And you may be learning something new. This could be learning about something new spiritually. It could be doing something where you're studying something else. You could be learning a new language. You could be um, going back to school. You could be learning something new in your work life, in your career. But I really feel this is more about studying the situation, observing things. Remember, you learn on this journey to respond with love instead of reacting with fear. You know, when we react, we get defensive and we act without thinking. We can lash out and, you know, say and do cruel or nasty things because it's in that moment, in the heat of the moment. Whereas when we take a moment to pause and reflect and become the observer, we can then respond with love. So we can respond with compassion, empathy, understanding and compassion. And, you know, that real knowledge of why things have happened the way they have, knowing that everything happens for a reason. So I feel the angels are guiding you and helping you to process what you know and to understand it in a deeper way. And that brings wisdom in. So Monday and Tuesday from a love perspective could also be a time where the silence or quiet times because there's processing going on to bring in a victory. So remember, if there's silent times, don't worry. Don't think the ghost in you. They are processing. They're processing what they've learned. They're processing what they now understand to take action, to bring victory into your connection or your situation or your life. So Wednesday and Thursday, Archangel Gabriel. Now, this is very much connected with your career and your life purpose and the things you're here to do. 
says, remember this is Wednesday and Thursday. So you may even be learning skills that assist you Wednesday and Thursday. So you may go through something Wednesday and Thursday that you couldn't really have handled until you'd experienced something Monday and Tuesday. So what I feel is you may receive some kind of nugget of knowledge Monday and Tuesday that you're able to put into practice Wednesday and Thursday. And that's going to show you, wow, I can handle this. I can deal with this. And that's bringing a victory in. So you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. Gable is saying, I will help you. I'll help you to communicate clearly. I'll help you to speak your truth. I'll help you to channel your creativity. I'll help you to understand what to do. So you're being guided by Archangel Gable, who is the messenger of heaven, and also helps with career and lifestyle and money and you know your job, anything you're creating. So obviously you've got Archangel Ariel and other angels, but I feel Gable is assisting you with getting to where you're meant to be. So it's like you're being moved forward on the right path here. So I feel the message is, you know, it's a speedy week. You're on the right path. You're going to end up with a victory. So whenever you're going through this week, there's going to be a victory. You may even find that you're going through a real personal victory. So you may be feeling healthier and happier than you have in a long time, even though there may be challenges. So you may be coming out the other side of challenges. Maybe you had a really challenging week last week. And you are in control now in a higher way. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we've got Serena. Wow. And Serena is saying, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need. And God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. So again, the victory could be a material victory. Victory over debt. Victory where you receive a monetary increase. You may get promotion or you may get money coming to you or you may see an increase in some way. So something is definitely shifting within your life this week to bring in a victory and a success. And I feel it's going to be something you're manifesting. So yes, this can be connected with love and you can put these cards into the love situation, which really means when you have patience, when you learn what you need to about this journey and how to be at ease with where you are, what you want will naturally flow in and it will naturally turn up for you at the right time. But if you're manifesting something significant or something specific to do with work or to do with money or to do with a material goal this is a huge sign with serena coming in that that's coming okay many of you will receive it this week if it doesn't show up this week you're going to get signs about it coming in so you could see previews so don't worry if you know say for example i'll give you an example you're manifesting a car say you're manifesting a car and you're dreaming about this car and then you start seeing this car everywhere it's a sign it's coming. And perhaps if you've asked for, I don't know, I'm not very good with cars, but say you've asked for a Volvo, but you start seeing a Ferrari, that's really the angel saying, don't be in control of how it's going to happen because God's in charge. So you may, might be asking for one thing, but God's got something far superior in mind for you. And you might think, well, no, I really want a Volvo. I don't want a Ferrari. But you see what I'm trying to say. So, for example, if you're really wanting your person right now and they're not coming to you right now, you could be really stressed out about that. But God knows that there's work to be done on them first to become their best version. So they're going to come to you in their best version, not in the version that needs some work doing. Or say if we say the Volvo, OK, because that's what they showed me in my mind is if to say, OK, Liz, what if someone doesn't want a Ferrari? They really want this Volvo. Imagine you're visualizing this Volvo and you've got this Volvo that kind of needs a lot of body work done. But then you start seeing one that's pristine, clean and brand new. That's what you've been given. That's what you're going to get. You're not going to get the battered up version that needs a change or needs sorting out. You're going to get the great version. So if your person is in a karmic relationship, don't be jealous of the person they're with because that person's got the kind of old battered up version of the Volvo. You're going to receive the model that's come out of the body shop. Does that make sense? And it's a strange way of looking at it, but it gives you an example. So always allow things to manifest in divine timing because you're going to have the victory in your life. You're going to receive everything in divine timing that you've been dreaming of and asking for and everything that you know that you're worthy of because you're worthy of these things. And that's what you need to know. So have a great week. Even journal down your feelings and thoughts. You know, if you're having any 
things coming to you on Monday and Tuesday because Monday and Tuesday, remember, you are you're learning, you're understanding things. So you may have some ideas and inspiration, you may have some aha moments. So write down what's coming to you Monday and Tuesday and then you're going to be able to put those things into practice Wednesday and Thursday. So it's not like you're gaining the knowledge and then the wisdom is that you're able to use that to your advantage to help and that's going to bring power in for you and that's going to lead to a victory including monetary gain and success. I hope this helps. Have a great week. I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.